This splendidious slow cooker spaghetti sauce is good stuff, according to All Recipes member Jess Pup, and versatile too. Serve it over spaghetti or try it with soft cooked polenta or rice. We'll start by combining some of the ingredients directly in the slow cooker. One 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, three 14.5 ounce cans of stewed tomatoes, and one cup of red wine. We're using Cabernet Sauvignon. Next, add one cup of sliced green olives, four teaspoons of sea salt or to taste, two tablespoons of dried basil, two teaspoons of dried oregano, and one half teaspoon of paprika and cayenne pepper. Stir the sauce together to combine. Then cover the slow cooker and set on low. Meanwhile, heat three tablespoons of olive oil in a skillet over medium heat. To the oil, we'll add three quarters of a cup of finely chopped sweet onion and cook until it begins to soften, about two minutes. Then stir in one crushed and chopped garlic clove and cook for three more minutes. Next, we'll add two thirds cup of chopped fresh parsley and two thirds cup of sliced fresh mushrooms. We're using cremini. Reduce the heat to medium low and cook the vegetables for 10 minutes. Then add a teaspoon of brown sugar and mix to dissolve. In a separate skillet over medium heat, heat three more tablespoons of olive oil, or less if you like. We'll add another quarter cup of finely chopped sweet onion along with two crushed and chopped cloves of garlic and 12 ounces of Italian sausage. If you are using links, be sure to remove the casings first. Feel free to use hot or sweet sausage. Brown the sausage, breaking it up into crumbles as it cooks, about 10 minutes. If you wish, strain off the extra fat and season with one teaspoon of ground white pepper and a half teaspoon of ground cumin. We'll now pour in another cup of red wine and scrape the bottom of the pan to release the sausage bits. Simmer the meat sauce for 10 minutes and then add to the vegetables. Bring to a simmer and cook for another 10 minutes. Now we'll add everything to the slow cooker and cook on low for eight hours or overnight. If you notice the sauce thickening up too much, feel free to add a bit more wine or water. The flavors of all ingredients really do come together after a long slow cooking period. All Recipes member Mama Cookies comments that this is the best spaghetti sauce she has ever cooked and well worth all the effort.